Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Day's Designs. I'm back today with another holiday bunting project you can use to decorate your home. Today, it's St. Patrick's Day Shamrocks. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com where you'll find plenty of sewing and crafting projects. It's also where you'll find a link to the written version of this pattern with step-by-step -step instructions, cutting measurements, photos, and the printable shamrock templates. And since it's a digital download pattern you can print at home, you can get started on your very own shamrock bunting today. I've added a link in the description below this video to where you can find it. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies for this project, you'll need fabric for the shamrocks, fabric for the loops for hanging, batting, pinking shears, clothesline cord or jute, and the printable shamrock templates. First, cut out your paper templates and then place a piece of shamrock fabric with the right side of the fabric facing down. On top, place your layer of batting and align it with the shorter end of the fabric. Fold the other half of the fabric on top with the right side of the fabric facing up. Arrange the shamrock templates on the fabric at least a half inch from the fabric's edge and from each other and pin them in place. Rough cut around the shamrock templates approximately half an inch from the paper's edge. To stitch the shamrocks together, stitch very close around the edge of the paper without going over. Make sure your needle's in the down position when pivoting at the inner points and take your time around the curves. Do the same with the rest of your fabric pieces and batting pieces. When all shamrocks have been sewn, use pinking shears or a pinking blade to trim about a quarter of an inch to half an inch outside of your stitching lines. To make the hanging loops, cut the fabric into strips and sew them together to make one long strip. Fold the strip in half lengthwise with the wrong sides of the fabric facing each other and press. Open it back up. Fold one side to the midpoint crease and press it. Fold the other side to the midpoint crease and press it. Fold the entire piece over and press it. Top stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edges all the way around the fabric strip. Cut those strips into three inch pieces. You might not need all the pieces. Fold the strip in half, making a loop. Place the raw edges of the loop to the top of the back of one of the shamrock leaves. Stitch over your shamrock's previous top stitching to secure it in place. Place a finished shamrock over your cording and slide it to the midpoint. Place another shamrock an inch or two away from the first. Continue adding shamrocks to the left and right and arrange them as desired. Tie a loop on each end of your cord for hanging. And just like that, just that fast, you have your own handmade, homemade St. Patrick's Day decoration. If you'd like to see more easy projects like this one with digital patterns that you can print at home, check out the blog at devsdays.com. I've added a link in the description below this video. See you next time with another project.